want to cut thin slices of eggplant. And you see when eggplant is small like this, it doesn't have a lot of seeds, you see? So that's what you want to look for. So you take these slices like this, and you can either fry them in some uh, canola oil, or the Italians like to use peanut oil, not olive oil for frying, because this would make it just too heavy, and eggplant absorbs an awful lot of oil. It's like a sponge. Or you could do what I like to do, and eliminate that whole frying process, and put these on a lightly oiled baking sheet, a cookie sheet, and just lay them in a layer on the sheet. Your oven is on at 350 degrees, and you bake them until they're just starting to turn a little bit brown. We have that part now? Yep. Okay, so we can move this off to the side, because then I can show you they look like this. Here's some that we did earlier, you see? So now this, you see the difference between this being a little hard. You couldn't really mold that, could you? But this you can, you see? You can lay it. You, it's, it's much more pliable. So we have our slices. So what you need to do first is put a little bit of olive oil in your mold, just a drop. And because we're in Puglia, we are using wonderful olive oil from Puglia. And you want to grease the mold. Then you need to place your eggplant slices in the mold. And you want to leave an overhang. So check it out and see if you have small pieces of, of eggplant instead of really long pieces, you can put a piece on the bottom, you see, like that. Then take your eggplant and overlap. Make sure you overlap the slices because we're going to put a filling in this. So you want this to stay uh, together. Let me get one more. And you want to make these fairly thin slices now so that that will work. So there is our overlapped mold. Easy, right? We are also going to make a filling. So you want to take some of the eggplant and cut it up because we're going to put this in a pan now with some onion. So you chop it up. It doesn't have to look beautiful because it's all going to be covered up in your, in your mold. And you want some onion. You take a small onion and chop that up as well. We're going to take a little extra virgin olive oil now, put it in our pan, and we're going to get this, we're going to get this going. We're going to soften up this eggplant and we're going to cook it together with the onion. When the uh, eggplant is cooked, you see what uh, Marie is doing here. You want to give that now a little salt and pepper, Marie. A little sale, sale marino, and pepper. You want to cook that down until it's soft. When it's soft, it looks like this. See, here it is, all cooked. The onion, the eggplant, salt and pepper, and now we're going to add a little bit of oregano, dried oregano. This is really the only herb that I like to use dried, oregano. It has, for some reason, it just has a better flavor dried. Now, you let it cool down after it's cooked, and you can add your cheese. You mix in your cheese as much as you would like. Put a little bit more there. And you also want, with this, some sun-dried tomatoes. Now, here are the pomodori, pomodorini, as they are fresh. But when you cut them up, and put them on a bake sheet and put them in the oven, they become like this, dry. And as they dry like this, the flavor is, is concentrated. The sugars are concentrated. So they become very um, intense. So now we take, and, and you can imagine, you've tasted this, what nice flavor this is going to add to the filling. So now I can see that this is just a bit dry. Okay, we're going to put just a little bit of olive oil over this. Just a smidge. Mix this in. And now we're ready to put this into our mold. So we take some of this, and I like to use my hands for this because you get better control. And you press it right in. See how easy this is? It's going to look really impressive when you serve this, though. Press that right into the mold. Get a little bit more there. 
just like that. And then, and this is why you want to make sure you have enough of an overhang, you take the top and you fold it over like it's a little package, like this. Press down so that it's really in that mold tightly. Everybody see that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> then you take a piece of aluminum foil, you cover the mold, and you line these up on a cookie sheet. They go in a 350 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. And when you unmold these, you have already made yourself a basic tomato sauce with garlic and plum tomatoes, basil, salt and pepper, a little red wine. And this will be unmolded, and you will serve it with a little side of fresh tomato sauce. 